Starts right. He goes left, and there he goes. Ten, five, touchdown, Pirates. Pirates win. You can see these pitches purple. Pirates Sports Properties and ECU Athletics present the Mike Houston Show. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the show this week. Coach Houston will be here in just a few minutes, and we'll look at the highlights from the Gardner-Webb game coming up. Our Pirate player profile will be John Young, off to a great start as the ECU punter. He's the guy with the handlebar mustache, and our Brian Daly will have a chance to visit with John. And for the Pirates, it's on the road, the conference opener, the AAC opener at Navy Marine Corps Stadium in Annapolis. Coming up next week, Coach Ken Niamatololo's Navy midshipmen will provide the opposition and we'll have our scouting report. Coach will join me right after this. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. For most bright-eyed 20-year-olds, college is all about finding yourself, discovering your purpose in the world. It's spiritual. But for this astrobiology major, college is about making cheddar. While drinking Diet Coke Blueberry Acai and running the biggest underground sandwich joint in the greater Des Moines area. Make that money, young buck. Make that money. You may not have noticed, but it's all connected to the internet. Sure, it's YouTube, Netflix, and adorable selfies, but it's also high-octane gaming, security cams, thermostats, your fridge, Wi-Fi speakers, smartwatches, workout equipment, pet feeders, and even crockpots. Seriously, and it's all on the same internet connection. At least with internet from Suddenlink, your home can live up to its fully connected potential. Without it, not so much. Suddenlink, the fastest internet provider in the U.S. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. With more than 90 online programs, 40 of them unique to ECU, more students than ever before are making East Carolina University their online destination. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education.
What a great win for the Pirates. The home opener, East Carolina wins going away 48 to 9, the final. Coach, congratulations, your first win at ECU. And when you win a game like this, a lot of heroes on both the offensive and defensive sides of the ball because right. both lines of scrimmage played really well. Yeah, and I, re I really thought that was the key to the whole game, and it's something we wanted to do coming in. Uh, you know, after last week, we the big emphasis this week was you know controlling the line of scrimmage better, uh, giving our backs more running room, uh, really challenged the backs uh, to you know yards after contact. You know, I thought we went down too easy last week, um, and uh, and then defensively, uh, you're just doing a better job fitting our gaps, uh, physically controlling the line of scrimmage better, uh, and I really felt like for the most part we responded well tonight and did those things. I thought that was the key to the game. Yeah, no doubt about that. The physicality, you've been talking about that from uh, day one. So uh, the program uh, and the team took a step forward with that, I thought. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's uh, no matter who you're playing to see that that style of play. Uh, of course, that's you know that style of play is what I'm used to, mm -hmm. and that's that's how I want my teams to play uh, because I think that wins. Uh, but uh, certainly, I think the guys will be able to see tomorrow on film, and I think they probably felt it tonight. Uh, you know, doing those things and playing in that manner, and uh, and that was you know we really we celebrated that in the locker room. You know, I thought that was a big achievement for them to take that step. Yeah, a couple of 100-yard rushers in this game. You yeah. don't see that very often, Coach, but uh, you had two guys that did that. Well, you know, Darius uh, really pleased the way he responded this week. Um, obviously, he was the one I challenged the most. Uh, he's, the, he's the guy that's supposed to be the one uh, carrying the bulk of the load, and uh, he did a great job tonight. But, uh, you know, Holton, I thought, had a good night running the ball. But Demetrius Mooney, uh, you know, we've talked about during preseason camp, uh, just a freshman. Uh, been here a couple of months, uh, but you can see why we're so excited about him. And, uh, you know, he's he's still got to learn and got to improve, but certainly tonight should give him a big boost of confidence. And I thought on the defensive side of the ball, Alex Turner did a great job for you up front. Yeah. You know, Alex is just always gives relentless effort, uh, you know, always going to make those effort plays. And I thought that was a real key to a couple of the sacks he had tonight uh, were his perseverance, uh, you know, because it's hard for an interior D lineman uh, playing the, play the nose position to get much pressure on the quarterback because most of the time you get doubled. Uh, but I thought he did a great job of generating some pressure in the middle of the pocket tonight, which was a big key. Let's now go to those first half highlights. This week's highlights are brought to you by these local nationwide agents. Thirty-four thousand one hundred eighteen on a beautiful night for football in Greenville on a Saturday. Always exciting under the lights for Pirate football, and we start the game, Coach, and you get the ball first, and Holton throws his pass complete to uh, Darius Penix. Good to see him making that catch out of the backfield. Yeah, Darius does an excellent job in the passing game, and it's something we've been working on, trying to get him involved more in some of the swing passes and screens, and you know, great job right here. And Ehlers throws complete to Blake Prohl. It seems like they are really developing a chemistry here. Yeah, Blake's had a, a really solid preseason camp and a, and a fast start to the season. Uh, very reliable hands, very good route runner, and so it's good to see those two guys you know, hooking up. And then Holt Naylor's takes it in from seven yards out, just like last week. This week the Pirates have a very good drive to start the game, and they take a 7 to nothing lead. And then Coach Wynn want to show Kendall Futrell here as he sacks the quarterback Smith. 13-yard loss. Kendall played well last week, played well again this week. Yeah, I really thought that they would have a you know a difficult time with him there on the edge, and uh, you know and that's and you see the result right there with a the big play. Jake Verity comes in, kicks the field goal on a fourth and six, a chip shot from 24 yards out, and the Pirates have a 10 to nothing lead. Gardner Webb takes over control of the football, and here is Alex Turner. We talked about him early on. Boy, he had a big game, and he shuts down Kegel here for a loss of five. Yeah, Alex made some big plays tonight. You know his uh, his tenacity there in the middle. Uh, was an impact on the run game and the pass game. Pirates get the ball back on a second down and seven. Ehlers throws complete to Blake Prohl. This one goes for 10 yards. And then, Coach, this was a big play late in the first quarter on a third down and two. Penix, he's a punishing runner, and he gets that first down for you. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's the place he's got to make. You know, he's got to make those uh, short yardage goal line uh, kind of deals. You know, be able to convert those and keep the chains moving. And then what a weapon Holt Naylor's is. He takes off on this run up the middle. This one goes for 21 yards, sets up the touchdown. And Penix goes over the right side here, Coach, uh, for 13 yards in the touchdown, and you're up 24-7. Yeah, good to see Darius get on the board. Uh, had a really solid first half, and uh, good to get in the end zone. And then another big play here from your freshman, Jaquan McMillan. He steps up and gets his first interception as a Pirate. This was a very athletic play here. 
Yeah, good play. You know, good job on the return right there. I'd like to see him get in the end zone. Uh, don't want him sticking that ball out there near the goal line. Keep keep that thing secure, but uh, he's going to be a good one. But then Holt Naylor's uh, takes over here, and he takes it in from a couple of yards out, and the Pirates have a 31-7 to lead. Town Bank presents the play of the week. Town Bank, serving others, enriching lives. Two receivers right and one to the left. Hand up goes to Pinnock. Sweeps the right side to the 10 to the 5. He's in. Touchdown, Pirates. Golden Corral's juicy, endless sirloin and saucy St. Louis style ribs really put the meat in Meet Me in St. Louis. Endless sirloin and St. Louis style ribs. Golden Corral, the only one for everyone. Business owners, are you tired of feeling dissatisfied with your current cleaning service or that you're paying too much? Eastern Carolina Vocational Center is here to help. For 14 years, our large staff of well-trained, qualified employees have been cleaning offices, churches, industrial, and municipal buildings. ECVC offers custom-designed cleaning services with a schedule that fits your needs. You and your employees deserve a clean workspace. Let us provide you with excellent cleaning services. Call today to learn more about how we're all working together to support jobs with purpose. Don't wait for adventure to find you. Start your own adventure with a John Deere Gator utility vehicle from Quality Equipment. From muddy trails to steep inclines to treacherous terrain, John Deere Gators will keep you on track. They've proved themselves year after year as dependable and reliable go-anywhere vehicles for both work and play. Visit QualityEquip.com or one of our 27 locations today to experience unmatched power and performance of John Deere XUV Gators. The Subaru A Lot to Love event is going on, and it really makes us think about the things we love, right, Mark? Oh, yeah, there's a lot to love about Subaru, and there's a lot to love about Capital Subaru of Greenville. And for sure, there's a lot to love about Bubba. Come see us today during the Subaru A Lot to Love event and get a new 2019 Outback 2.5i for $269 a month, or lease a new 2019 Forester for $249 a month. We'll be waiting for you at Capital Subaru. See you soon. Golden Corral's juicy, endless sirloin and saucy St. Louis style ribs really put the meat in Meet Me in St. Louis. Endless sirloin and St. Louis style ribs. Golden Corral, the only one for everyone. For most bright-eyed 20-year-olds, college is all about finding yourself, discovering your purpose in the world. It's spiritual. But for this astrobiology major, college is about making cheddar while drinking Diet Coke Blueberry Acai and running the biggest underground sandwich joint in the Greater Des Moines area. Make that money, young buck. Make that money. See, we have a chance. We have a chance to do something special this year. But you have to be a team that has consistency. You have to be a team that practices a high level every day. You have to be a team that fights through adversity. There are going to be times you don't feel good. We talked about that during preseason camp. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. you got to come out and be consistent every single day. Your level of expectation cannot change. Welcome back to the show, 31-7 to as we pick up the highlights in the second half. And, uh, Coach, talk about playing with that kind of a lead. I guess the message is just to keep the pedal to the metal, right? Well, you know, the message is um, the most important play is the next one. Uh, you know, what we did in the first half doesn't really matter. Um, and you've got to learn, you know, when you're in these situations, you've got to learn to play without looking at the score because, mm -hmm. you know, you've seen it over the years many times, teams come back from that kind of deficit at the half. Uh, so you got to come out and you got to start fresh there in the third quarter. And uh, you know, that's what we tried to do. I thought uh, you know, we, we did some really good things on the defensive side of the ball in the third quarter. Uh, had some really solid drives offensively, but had some mistakes that really kept us from uh, putting more points on the board in the third quarter like I would have liked to. But even still, we're uh, able to build on the lead. Well, the Pirates got off to a fast start in the second half. Got a big play. Let's now roll those second half highlights. Pirates come up with a big play to start the second half. Gerard Stringer gets a pass interception here, Coach, and this really gets your football team off on the right foot. 
Yeah, and he's a guy that's really come on here this fall, really pleased with his progress and really developing into a solid player. A very athletic interception right there and does a great job of, of taking it back to give our offense a great starting field position. And then Holton throws this ball to Blake Prohl. Boy, he had a lot of air under this one. Good touch on this ball, Coach, and it goes for 20 yards, and Blake was wide open. Yeah, nice, nice little play right there. Good execution by both Holton and Blake, and uh, good to see him get in the end zone. Pirates are up 38-7, to seven, and then we see another fine defensive play on a third down and nine. Alex Turner with a sack here, a loss of 10 yards, and Alex was just wreaking havoc up front. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a real steady guy there inside. Great to see him have the, that, that kind of game tonight. And we go now to action in the fourth quarter. And, Coach, we see another good defensive play here by Kendall Futrell. As you mentioned, uh, they had trouble with him. Yeah, very athletic guy. He's playing better and better each week and, uh, you know, really think he's got a chance to, to be a pretty good one. And then with the big lead, uh, the Pirates get some other folks into the game here, and this is the Demetrius Mooney show here, Coach. We're going to show his runs. 14-yarder uh, on this first one on second down and 10, and, boy, it looks like you have a good one here for the future. Yeah, we've been excited about him during preseason camp, and, you know, he's still learning, but, uh, you know, you can see a lot in these runs. You see great feet. You see his acceleration. Uh, you see his ability to lower his pads and, uh, and gain extra yardage. But I was really, really excited about the way he played tonight. Yeah, number three from Forest City in East Rutherford with a 27-yard run, Coach, on this one. This was a terrific run, and it set up the touchdown by Reed Herring. Reed came in and engineered that last drive and did a really good job. Yeah, good to see Reed uh, have some uh, positive play there and get in the end zone. Uh, you know, it, glad, glad we got him in our program. And the Pirates win it. You can paint this one purple, the final East Carolina 48 and Gardner-Webb 9. Big win for the Pirates as they win it 48 to 9. And, Coach, when you look at those rushing totals, we talked about it over 300 yards rushing. I know that right. has to make you feel good. Yeah, it does, and, uh, and, and giving up only 39 uh, defensively. Um, and, you know, we, we want to be balanced. We want to throw the ball. I thought we, uh, I th I thought we should have thrown the ball more efficiently offensively uh, tonight. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of improvement there we need to make. Um, but, I, but I do feel like if you can control the line of scrimmage, you know, that's, that's going to be the key for our program, not just this year. That's going to be our key moving forward because if you can do that, uh, that allows you to win those tight ball games. It allows you to win the games against uh, really top-end caliber teams. Uh, you got to be able to do that to win games late in the year, especially bad weather games, mm -hmm. on the road kind of deal. Uh, so I think that's uh, that's a it's positive to see, and it's positive for us to have something to point to. And it helps your young secondary too. It takes a little pressure off them. And uh, again, you've sure. got so many young kids playing back there. Yeah, but I, I really like the way they respond tonight. You know, Jaquan McMillan with his first career interception, uh, Gerard Stringer with his first career interception, and both of those guys, you know, made something happen once they got the ball in their hands. Uh, so, I, you know, I, 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 Jairo Wilson, mm -hmm. uh, you know, played uh, three quarters there of, of really well at the safety position. So, uh, you know, I like the way our freshmen played in the secondary tonight, and that's only going to give them confidence moving forward. We'll have more with Coach right after this. Hi, I'm Jeff, the Window Man. We're celebrating our newly renovated showroom over 30 years ago. Our family here at Carolina Wind and Doors set out to help homeowners not only protect their biggest investment, but also to cut energy costs. Tell us more about it, Blake and Brad. Don't think you have to settle for those big, bulky plastic windows that everyone has to order from someone out of state. Our windows are created by hand right here in this design center. From years of experience, Carolina Windows and Doors has combined expertise with superior design. Everyone loves our easy tilt and cleaning feature, allowing both sashes to be tilted to the inside. All of our windows have a thermal break, providing superior energy efficiency. Our entry doors can also make a beautiful statement about your home, but also add the benefit of energy savings and security. Build your custom entryway with choices on just about everything, and top it off with a storm door for even more security and efficiency. Call us now at 1-800-545-7172, or visit us online at cwdnc.com. You may not have noticed, but it's all connected to the internet. Sure, it's YouTube, Netflix, and adorable selfies, but it's also high-octane gaming, security cams, thermostats, your fridge, Wi-Fi speakers, smartwatches, workout equipment, pet feeders, and even crockpots. Seriously, and it's all on the same internet connection. At least with internet from Suddenlink, your home can live up to its fully connected potential. Without it, not so much. Suddenlink, the fastest internet provider in the U.S. 
Are you going out tonight? What? No. But you have your coat on in the castle. Uh. And everyone's all dressed up. Are they? Well, maybe it's laundry night. Something like that, probably. And you're drinking Bud Light Platinum. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. Just let's go quickly. Don't wait up. Bud Night Platinum. Did you ditch him? Oh, yeah. He doesn't have a clue. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Bud Light Platinum. Brewed for the night. He's back for his second year as the ECU punter, John Young, the transfer from West Virginia, but he is from North Carolina, off to a good start this year, and our Brian Bailey had a chance to sit down and visit with John. And now, with today's Pirate Profile, here's Brian Bailey. Here with the Pirate punter, John Young, and when you think about punting the football, it's kind of like golf, but you're not a big golfer, are you? No, no, not at all. <laughs> but you sometimes want to hit it 300 yards, and sometimes you want to hit it, you know, on the green, short game. Yeah, yeah, sometimes uh, I want to go out there, hit the 55-yard bomb, you know, like when we're backed up and stuff, and then sometimes, you know, trying to pin them deep inside the 20, inside the 15, just go out there with a nice little chip shot in there. All right, tell us about the mustache, because it takes you back to, like, the 1800s. It's really, really cool. Um, well, I, I just... Uh, wanted to do it. I started it for No Shave November um, and it just kind of stuck with it. Uh, I don't really have a time when I want to cut it off. Uh, it could be tomorrow, it could be tonight, I don't know. Uh, just doing it just because I want to. We do Mustache March for baseball with Cliff Godwin and those guys. Mm -hmm. Is there any way you could cut it off and save it for me and I could use it <laughs> for Mustache March? I wish I could. <laughs> I wish be, I could do that. That would be awesome. Do the guys, when you're punting the football and you're running down and maybe having to make a tackle, does anybody say anything to you about the mustache, the, the opponents? Uh, no. I mean, last week nobody said anything to me, thankfully, because, you know, our, our coverage team was doing so well with keeping the returner locked down and uh, tackling them that I didn't have to make a tackle, so that was good. But, no, I haven't had anybody say anything. I'm sure somebody will throughout the year, but no, no, he hasn't. All right, final question. Which would you rather have, a coffin corner kick to the one-yard line or a 70-yard boomer? Um, depends on the game. Yeah. Uh, if we're up by a lot, then I'd like to hit the 70-yard bomb. But if we're in a tight game and I need to put him on the one, then I definitely want to put him on the side of the one. That's our Pirate Profile this week, John Young. <laughs> Check it out. There's a variety of here. This could be a song about home insurance. Oh, with Nationwide, you can save up to 20% by bundling your home and auto insurance. Bundling home and auto. Two songs in one. What do you call that? A crossover? No, it's more of a mashup. Yeah, mashup. You see, that's why we're a great band. We're not a band. Yes, we are. We are a band. I am in a band. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. I feel like they should be here by now. There's only one other place they could be. Where are the Bud Light Platinums? Oh, you're looking for the party turret. This here is the stirring into the void turret. Completely different turrets. Oh, it's the wrong roof top. You only have two turrets. Unbelievable. Bud Light Platinum, brewed for the night. Don't wait for adventure to find you. Start your own adventure with a John Deere Gator utility vehicle from Quality Equipment. From muddy trails to steep inclines to treacherous terrain, John Deere Gators will keep you on track. 
They've proved themselves year after year as dependable and reliable go-anywhere vehicles for both work and play. Visit QualityEquip.com or one of our 27 locations today to experience unmatched power and performance of John Deere XUV Gators. Play of the game is brought to you by Core Power, official protein drink of the Pirates. Gardner Webb with a football. Man in motion is Harper. They'll keep it on the ground. They will give it to Kegel. He starts right. He tries to go back left, and he's tackled by Alex Turner at the 20-yard line behind the line of scrimmage. As we all know, Navy's been a tough nut for the Pirates down through the years. ECU has to open the AAC season in Annapolis at Navy Marine Corps Stadium. Always a great trip, and Coach Ken Niamatololo does such a great job with his Navy football team. See if the Pirates can get this one this week, and let's now check in and get our scouting report. The success of the Navy offense rests on the shoulders of senior quarterback Malcolm Perry. Perry has rushed for more than 1,000 yards in each of the last two seasons while only completing 10 passes heading into this season. But Navy shook things up in the season opener against Holy Cross as Perry completed six of nine passes for 103 yards. Defensively, head coach Ken Niamatololo shook things up in the offseason. Only one coach from last year's defensive staff remains from a team that went just 3-10. The Pirates have not had much success against that Navy ground attack, having beaten the midshipmen only once in six tries, that lone win coming back in 2011. Kickoff is set for 3.30. The game will be televised on CBS Sports Network. And, of course, you can catch the call with the voice, Jeff Charles, alongside Kevin Monroe and Marty Fuhrer on 107.9 FM. I'm Brian Mudor for the Mike Houston Show. Thanks so much for being with us on the show. Pirate fans, you're the best. The Mike Houston Show has been presented by Sudden Link, now offering internet speeds up to one gig. The Mike Houston Show is an exclusive presentation of the Pirate Sports Network from Learfield IMG College.